Hey, Mail here from Biped. Very excited to present this monthly update. Um, as you might know, and if you're following the project, we've been all hands on um, integrating AI models and making NOAA devices smarter. Um, as a recap, NOAA stands for Navigation Obstacle in AI. And after successfully launching our obstacle avoidance features and our GPS navigation features, we've been just focusing on building up the AI capabilities of the device. Um, more recently, uh, we started to um, integrate new uh, actions related to buttons that we added on the NOAA devices. So all of the devices that are shipping have uh, a set of buttons on the side. I've got a device running right here. That I'm just going to place on my shoulders. Um, and basically left-hand side will still find the camera module on the right-hand side of the device on the outer edge. We'll find a couple of buttons that individually control the navigation, the obstacle and the AI. So what's quite interesting now is that we're getting to the point where the device can not only do scene description, that's something we launched a while back, so that will be with the uh, main button that is at the bottom of the module on the right hand side, but also refer to the buttons that are on the side of the device to actually be able to trigger specific actions. Uh, and so if I go ahead and press on the AI buttons. Item to detect text so that one is firstly looking for text doors doors crosswalks crosswalks stairs stairs open seat and open seats and then i could go ahead selected item to detect and select open that seat. button i'm looking for an open seat in the scene please wait a few seconds and then i have an ai model that's actually looking for an open seat right around me to help me find somewhere to seat um, right now I'm indoor. I'm actually in my living room. You are in a room with a large table in front of you. There are two free chairs next to the table to your left at approximately one meter. All right, and just showing you, we've got two chairs here, slightly to my left. Um, so the main point of these models is to clearly be able to uh, use the device A without obstacle avoidance. So you can completely mute obstacle avoidance. And second, look for specific elements in the scene. So just imagine you're getting to a coffee somewhere and you just want to uh, make sure that you're getting the menu correctly, um, the big menu printed uh, outside of the coffee, for example, or you want to find a crosswalk in a place that you have never been to. You can count on these AI models to basically start uh, running descriptions. Um, we are bringing Noah closer to an AI assistant, so you'll get to hear more and more of these voices over time. Um, next month, we'll also launch the bus stop finding. Um, and a couple of uh, quick updates also is we've gotten to the point where you can also use the obstacle buttons here to change the range of obstacle avoidance. So you don't have to use your phone anymore to change the settings. Obstacle detection distance. One meter. So I have one meter. 1.5 meters. 1.5. Two meters. Three meters. And then I could Select it. set it Obstacle to three distance. meters. Three meters. Um, what that's going to bring is just, uh, you know, as you walk into a place that is more crowded or that is a bit more open, you'll just be able to change the settings. Uh, NOAA now supports also Imperials, so it's not limited to um, the... Uh, metric system. Um, we added support in Spanish um, and we're working on a couple of other languages. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, on a side note, we're bringing major improvements to the smartphone app, uh, whether it be for the companion mode, um, if you have someone who's a mobility trainer or a relative that's using the, um, the, the app at the same time uh, as you're using your NOAA device. Um, and we've brought some major stability improvements and battery lifetime improvements. Um, and this is, of course, an ongoing effort. So thank you very much for listening to this update. Uh, looking forward to also getting your feedback on those. So as usual, uh, you can just go to the smartphone app. Uh, inside of that, we've done a um, rework of the layout of the app, but you can go inside of My Noah. You'll find your connected devices and then uh, should be a section that says software update. Click on it. And if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll simply get a a um, couple of minutes of update uh, and then your device will restart automatically and good to go. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye.